Hey, what's going on? It's so important you had me come up here before the crack is on. Uh, I just want to say goodbye. Are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'm taking the first flight to New York. After that, who knows? What do you mean, who knows? I'm leaving Springfield. Exhausted, and I'm not sure she can handle a C-section, even if I have everything. Are you telling here. me that one of them may not make it, that I may lose my wife you know or my Margaret, son? That one of these boys, this boy here, is weaker and smaller than this child is. Damn it! Won't you answer my question? Yes. Either way, someone could die. Die? What are you talking about, Rick? Oh, Rick, you can't let one of my, you can't let my baby die. You got to do something. You got, you got to do it all. Shut up. Smaller, Rick. I haven't heard that. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. I'm not pushing. I'm not pushing. Take a deep breath. Go, 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 go. You can get through this with your hand, Rick. I can talk to you. You can get through this with your hand, Rick. You're magnificent. You breathe. Breathe. Do not push. Breathe. It's all right. Breathe. Yeah, Rick, please. Look. If it comes down to a choice between my son and my wife, you say Blake. Do you understand me? Of course I do. Oh, oh, talk honey, to me, This right. is my body and my baby. Honey, when you left the hospital today, honey, when you left the hospital today, Margaret showed me oh. the results of the test. But what's wrong? One of our boys is smaller than the other. It's very important that he get to the hospital as soon as possible. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, you've got an ambulance. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, the ambulance is on the way. This little boy is trying to make his injured shoulder first. It's bad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it could be. Oh. Now listen to me. The umbilical cord could prolapse okay. or your cervix could rupture. Okay, you got to keep this boy inside you until we get to the hospital. Do that. Yes, but you've got to keep this boy inside you until we get to the hospital so we can deliver him there. Honey, you cannot push. You cannot push. Don't breathe. Don't push. Don't push. You gave up your marriage to be back here. You gave up everything to be back in the spalding, and now you're just going to ditch everything and give up just like that. Yep. How does that work exactly? Uh, it doesn't, really. But, uh, but then again, not much has worked for me for a long time. So, Actually, you know what? You, you were right. I came back here to try to put my life back together, and all I really did was lose my marriage and any hopes that I had of having a real family. Look, Phil, this has something to do with me not apologizing what? for this Ace Spalding thing. Heavens, I don't... are you uh, two still uh, arguing? Even after your father admits he's the Ace Spalding, if you would like to fight with someone, why don't you fight with her? No, oh, wait a minute. Right, you're the you... one that did, brought in that doctor letter pointing the finger at Alan Michael, for heaven's sakes. If you have any, any problems between the two of you, it's her fault. Now, oh, that is ridiculous. Father never said that I doctored that letter. But you did. <laughs> you did, didn't you? It was actually very smart, because you know what? It, Alan, Michael, and I probably would have been able to work things out if it hadn't been for you. Yeah. Philip, ever since you showed up at Alan Michael's wedding, you've been out to recapture your place in this family at his expense. No, all I wanted to do, Amanda, was find out who in this family hated me. And it's funny. 
Isn't it that I, that I thought it was just one? Turns out you hated me just as much as Dad. That's not true. Why should any of us believe you, Amanda? I mean, what you did was colder than anything I've ever seen. And believe me, that's saying a lot. Oh. Uh, does it sound like he's breathing right, baby? He's having a heart attack. Okay. You okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Good. Yeah. You sure? Uh, you sure you're okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beth? Do you have those pain pills? Yeah. What happened out there, Dinah? I got trapped in the grain silo, and all the feed started pouring in. It was a nightmare. What were you doing in the grain silo? I was looking for Peter. I'm so glad he's here. My son was in the grain silo? No, he was. But by the time I figured that out, the doors slammed shut behind me, and I couldn't get it open. And the more I banged on it for help, the more the, the grain door that was up above started rattling. And I tried to climb out the ladder that was in there, but it broke, and when I fell, I must have hit the latch that opened up the whole thing, and all the feet started pouring in on top of me. He, he, my father pulled you out of this? Yeah. I mean, if it was for rush, I would have suffocated. <clears throat> I mean, I know it sounds crazy. I haven't him for months, but I don't know what to say. He, he could have let me die. He didn't. What are you telling me, huh? You tell me you've been wrong about him this whole time? Yeah. I was wrong. Your father's really changed. He really has. darn lucky, you know, that I didn't have days, or I didn't have a gun, or I didn't call the police, or no, something. No, it was Let me explain. I worked on the dig a little this morning, then I got in my car and drove over here because I... Because you were hungry and you got tired of canned ham. Well, canned ham seemed to fall short when I started to imagine the smell of those banana Belgian waffles you used to make. Remember, you made them at least once a week. I remember. Well, you call me sentimental. But I never thanked you for all the hard work you put in over the years, and I thought I should return the favor. Mm. Even though it's a little late or early. So you came to fix me breakfast? Yes. Even though you're going to see me later? Yes. Hmm. Well, can't make waffles without a waffle iron. Hey. Oh, here, here, I can, I can, I can, no, do, no, I can no, do that. that. I can okay. do that. I just want you to sit back and relax. This isn't about breakfast, is it? No, it's not. was falling apart. I was scared. I was alone. I I felt like I had no one to turn to but father, and I really believed that deep down he cared for me. Oh, where are the violins when one needs them? None of you was willing to stand by father but me. At the cost of the rest of the family, yeah, Amanda. I mean, don't you see how twisted that is? You made my own brother believe that I betrayed him, Amanda. Well, I didn't do it all by myself, Alan Michael. There had to have been some pretty high level of distrust there to begin with. Can, can somebody please tell me why I always get to be the scapegoat in this family? Oh, really? All mm. of you have wanted father's love desperately at one point or another. No, you know what? You're right. You're, you're absolutely right. Thank you. I'm the glad difference, somebody... the difference, Amanda, is that you're willing to go a lot further to get it than we are. And I hope it was worth it. Because you destroyed what little trust we had amongst us. Probably for good. Fine. You know what? This is fine. You can blame me for everything, but you know something? I know better. I could never have destroyed something if it wasn't falling apart already. Mm. At least I can admit where I went wrong and try to start over. I think it's your turn now. If you really want to wipe this lake clean, then forget about me. Quit this blame game and go see Father. If there were ever an opportunity to make the Spaldings whole again, this is it. Mm. Don't! Wow, I, I really hate
hate to concede it. I tell you, but Amanda's right here. You should go make peace with your father. And before it's too late. Five years is nothing. I mean, we have the rest of our lives to be proud of. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, look, if you two can come together, maybe we all three can start over. I want to be a part of your life, an important part. You know, the biggest obstacle is gone. Almost ruined our lives for a while. If we'd given him another couple of months, he might have been able to do it. But hey, it's like I say, things generally work out for the best. Well, you know what's so weird about it? I, I don't even feel anything. I don't feel anything. He's dead. I know. Michael, what do you say? I'm not dead. I'm right here. You just think. I feel absolutely nothing. I don't feel anything either. He was a loser. The guy was a loser. What's the matter with you two? Oh, thank God. I'm right here. I'm begging your forgiveness. Uh, leave him to his maker, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What are you doing? Where am I going? No, don't do this! I love you! Do whatever you have to do. I don't care if it hurts you. Just say my just son. Wait. I can't do a section here. It would put you at too much risk. Ah, turn down, to me. We cannot put you in that kind of danger, all right? Your health is what is important. My son is what's wait. important. Take it easy. Do you want to be responsible if our baby dies? Answer me, Rick. Can you live with yourself? Because I know I damn well. Rick, oh. is it possible? Is it possible to save the baby, too? Ross. There are significant risks doing the surgery here. I know, okay. but can you do something, anything, to make it safer for me? All I have in my bag is a scalpel, some better need to clean the wound, and not myself. Oh, Rick, do it! Please tell him it's okay. I can take it. I agree. Rick, you heard the lady. Let's do it. Okay, fine. Let's get to the business right now. Boss, find a safe place for the baby. All right. Wash your hands as thoroughly as possible. Find as many clean towels as you possibly can. Right. Look, we gave all that money to Lamaze people. They never told us about this. Did they? they didn't. I love you. I gotta put a little cowboy away. Okay, baby, take care of my baby. Awesome. You, 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 you can do it. Nice warm here. A little bit like this is you just wait right here. Feel the pinch after that theory's gonna go down. I'm also gonna give you a shot of demo. What's gonna happen? Will it knock me out? No, ma'am. You are sticking around for the festivities. Because I am not gonna go to this party alone. Going out to party alone? Nine months ago. I got rid of this mess in the Oh! Oh! Rick, yeah. There's the towels. I'm scrubbed up. All right. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, we are. All right. You take this hand, honey. You squeeze it as hard as you want. And you remember, I'm not gonna let you go. Right? I squeeze. I know that. Okay. All right. Do it. Right. You look at me. You look at me. Let's do it. Everything's going fine. I know your baby's under me. Yes, yes, Rick. How much longer? A couple more minutes, Ross. All right. Just a couple more minutes. Ah, uh, damn it. What happened? It's all right. It's all right. Uh, 
can't operate without light. <laughs> without light. Oh. Honey, do you remember telling me how much you wanted to find an alternative birthing method? I think you got me. one. I think you got one, honey. <laughs> hey, we got one more down here. Is the cab in the woods okay for you? Oh. Hey, hey, Ross, remind me to tell my dad to pay the electric bill yeah, when you get a we'll, chance. We'll give him a call. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do it with all the poor choices I made. A cabin in the woods and a C-section in the middle of nowhere has to make up for my... Okay. No poor choices. All right. Hey, you're perfect. Always have been. Ross, you ready? Oh, I'm feeling there something wrong. No, everything's, everything's What's fine. going on? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh. Grab, grab oh. the glove, Ross. Oh, God. Okay. See this flap right here? Oh, God, please make my Hold baby boy okay. I swear I will never down, ask down, for down, anything down, ever right again. Good. Okay. Please save my All right, here we go. boy. Oh, All right. God, please save my boy. Here we go. Okay. Okay. What's going on? Can you see my baby? It's all right. What's going on? Not yet. All right. All right. Uh, since, since when do you take Amanda's side in anything? Phil, if you know how desperately I want you to go see I'm, father. No, I'm not going to do it. I know, Alex, I'm not going to do it. All right, Alan would, did, a, did a horrible thing to you. Yeah, I'd say trying to destroy my life would fall under that heading. Yeah. But if you work at it, you know, you can make peace with it. Are you taking orders from Amanda now? Oh, please. I don't give a hoot about Amanda or her reasons. You know, they're all based on self-interest right. anyway. Typical spalling. Yeah. Oh. And Alan Michael, I wouldn't be quite so flippant. You know, none of us has more than a third grade education and the learnings of love. No, actually, I'm glad I ever figured out what love is, Alex. So am I. And I can tell you, I didn't learn it in this house. Well, good, then, since none of us is perfect, including your father, including Alan, then why don't we give it a try? I mean, there's so much to gain. D do you have any idea what you're asking? Yes, yes, I do. I'm Alex. He stripped me bare. And then he set my brother up to take the fall. How am I supposed to get past that? With, with time. Maybe some of the love that you two have been lucky enough to experience. Time is not going to make me forget that my father betrayed me and my brother. All no, right. It's not, time isn't going to do that. Philip, Philip, please. This family is absolutely in tatters, for heaven's sakes. This may be the only chance we have to be whole. On Alex, it is way past any kind of time that I can make peace with Dad. About anything, ever again, okay? Alan Michael? Don't even bother asking me, Alex. He's your father. He's sick. He happens to need you, for heaven's sake. Don't you two get it that without you, the family's nothing? Look, Alex, I don't want to hurt you. I know how much getting this family back together means to you. It means everything to me. It always has, and you know that. Alex, I'm, I don't want to disappoint you. I really don't, because I love you, Alex. Mm-hmm. You've always been so wonderful and to me, but you, this is this is not about you. You you have always been the rock in this family, and you know what? What what we didn't get from Dad, fine, you fine, certainly fine, tried fine, to give fine, us. Fine. But I don't want to hear your thanks. I don't want to hear your reassurances. What I want from you is some compassion. I want some love from you. If you can't do it for your father, then please do it for me. On Alex, please don't ask us. Alex, Dad, we can't do it anymore. I see. I see, so there's no more talking, huh? Is that it? You two just dug in your heels? Be damned with the consequences? You know something? You, you say you despise your father, but it looks to me like the two of you are turning out just like him. Aunt Alex, you... I, no! I don't want to hear it. I can't stand this hatred and this... I love you both. I love you both, but I, I just can't take this Aunt... anymore. No! Heart. Oh, thank you, sir. I almost really died tonight. For real, you know, and all our hopes for the future were gone, but now I still have them now because of Roger. Oh, I better get this monkey home. Uh, you want to give my kiss? Oh, I love you, Peter. Dead in life, so you know. What do you mean? Hey. Can I give you a kiss? Good night, pal. I'll call you tomorrow. How's the pain, Dad? <laughs> oh, I just need to rest. No, Roger, I think... I really think you should get to the That's emergency room. All right. No, you're not all right. We're going to get you to a hospital. I'm, uh, I'm going to get the car, okay? Let me come Yeah, I can't. 
talk, but I just want you to know the plan worked. Donna thinks I'm the best thing since lipstick. <laughs> no, it, it definitely did not go smoothly. I almost lost her. Not quite part of the plan, right? Listen, all this uh, playing the hero has got me kind of banged up. So they're taking me to the hospital. You meet me there and I'll explain more. Okay? Yeah. I'm looking for a full-time assistant. Have any idea where I could find one? Classified, just newspaper. Oh. Well, I thought I'd look closer to home. Me? Oh. No, I'm, I'm quite happy working part-time with you. <clears throat> you haven't lost your touch, Noah. Mm -hmm. These are wonderful. Couldn't you spare me a couple of extra hours? Jay needs cash, you know. He needs money. I know, but Jay's got school and company. I mean, he's barely awake when he shows up on Saturday morning. But you know, if you called his teacher, I bet that he could get full credit working for you full time. I don't want Jay. I want you, Nola. I want a real partner, you know? Someone, someone who understands the importance of finding treasures that have been buried for centuries. Someone who enjoys the moment of discovery. Hmm? Look, I've been going over those Pottery shards that we found, that's a real find. Those are museum oh. quality, Nova. Yeah. But I can't go anywhere with it without your help. No. Won't you at least think about it? No. You don't trust me, do you? <laughs> no. I've, I've tried to show you in different ways that, I, that I've changed and I've learned my lesson. Well, you know, Quint, wishing and wanting and hoping, you know, doesn't make it so. You, I mean, life doesn't work like that, you know. Yes, but how can we go anywhere? How can we do anything with this, this wall that's between us? I mean, part-time assistant, uh, friend, sort of. I want you back, Nola. I want to talk about this wall. You know, the, it's not my wall. You, you put the wall there. It's your wall. You left me for that. Well, that will never happen again. I swear. Well, you swear now. You know, you really hurt me. You really, really hurt me. I'm sorry, Noah. I really am. I don't know what I can say after that. Except that I've gotten rid of that. I've moved home. I want to see you more and more. But I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do, I Nola. Don't, I don't know. There's got to be a way. I don't know. I love you, Nola. And I don't want to lose you, too. I know. I know. With Henry and losing Vanessa, I... But I don't know how to fix this. No, I, I can't make any promises now. Bridget! Breakfast. I'm stoned. Where, where were you all night? Oh, it's a long story. Hey, Quint, how are you? How are you doing, Bridget? Oh, I've been better. Um, do you have a minute? Yeah. Yes, I uh, need to go here. But I want you to think about what I said. I will. Bye. Nurse, 
I demand to see a doctor. Lie down, Mr. Spalding. I'll see what I can do. I want the results of that damn test, and I want my release papers. I'm checking out immediately. I will. Now, just relax, Mr. Spalding. I have a family to see, too. Yes and no, Father. Yes, of course, you do have a family. But the less you see of them, the better. I'm afraid your sons will never let you into their lives again. Amanda, I'm in a great deal of pain. If you've come to tell me one of your speeches about how you're, my, you're much better than my sons, it's not going to help things at I all. I didn't come to grovel for your affections today, Father. I thought you might like to know that I just left Philip and Alan Michael. Together? Well, were they friendly? Well, not quite. But I think they're getting pretty close. And you'll never guess what. It's all because of you. They were discussing me? In great detail. You see, despite my pleas for family unity, I'm afraid neither of your sons wants anything to do with you, or the whole family, for that matter. Father, I have learned a lot about retreat and defeat lately. I'm going to suggest that you brush up on how to handle both. Welcome to the club. I hate your guts. Poor Aunt Alex. She wants the one thing that she just can't have. Well, it's not her fault we make the Adams family look functional. It's got to be very hard to watch all the people that you love at each other's throats all the time. I know. Not willing mean. to give an inch. None of us have ever been good at that, Philip. Nope. We take a hit. <clears throat> we fire back with both barrels. I wish I hadn't done that. I mean, with you, I mean. Me too. Uh, you know, Philip, I mean, Alex is right. We both ended up doing exactly what we said we would never do. Just like perfect Spaldings. Don't give an inch. Believe the worst about everyone. Name to kill. Is your arm? Is he okay? I can't see him. Where is he? Where is he? Honey, they gotta clean him up, all right? You know that. But he's beautiful and you are magnificent. Oh, my baby. Rick, oh. what's wrong? What's the matter? What are you doing? Keep your There's no heartbeat. No! No! Ah. Rick! Don't you see my baby? Rick, what? Blake is bleeding Stop. again. Please. Why? I need you down here uh, now. Oh, oh, God, please save my baby. What? Uh, uh, oh, baby, Five compressions in a puff of air. Do it quickly and don't stop until I tell you, okay? Let's go. Start now, one, two, three, four, five, five. Oh, please one, do something. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, All right, we're just going to set the... Okay? You know, I'll get you out. Oh, you'll be okay. Rick, Rick, you're going to be okay. Come on, we're doing fine. Oh. Rick. Oh, thank God. Ross, I think this little boy needs to be with his mom. Oh, <laughs> Little one, sister. Wish I could be. Well, drink your coffee, because you got a restaurant and a boarding house to rent. No, I know. Oh, no, if Hart mentions anything about your offer to buy company, just play along, all right? What? If Hart mentions anything about your offer to buy company, play along. I don't want to buy company. I don't want to sell it, but I want him to think that I was thinking about moving out of town. Oh. Oh. Oh, didn't we go through this little song and dance yeah. with Hart about, and, and now you want me to cover you? Yeah, that's what I want. Bridget, Hart is engaged to Dinah. I'm not asking for a critique of my personal life. I, yes or no will do. I, I just don't. 
You know, the, this man has taken it. I don't understand why you can't get this idea through your head. You know, I, I don't think you really love him. I think you're just in love with the idea of being in love. You just don't understand. I deserve a man. I deserve to be with my baby's father. You haven't seen how hard I've tried over these last few years. You weren't around for that. With heart. With heart? With Dylan? Every time I got close to having it. Everything that all my peers have, it was snatched away from me and I didn't make any any mistakes. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm no more than a, the average person, but you know, not everybody has to pay for the rest of their life for one mistake. I look at Dinah. Hello? Is she blamed for all that horrible stuff that she did to Roger? Oh no, she comes off smelling like the sweet fairy princess. She doesn't deserve Hart's little finger. But I do. I deserve him. You deserve someone who loves you. Who wants you. Hart wants Dinah. Hart wants a life on his farm with a family and his son. I fit into that picture. Dinah doesn't. Bridget. All right, if we weren't meant to be together, why did we spend almost all of last night alone, having a great time? How did you engineer that? It doesn't matter. What matters is that we dove right into the heart of things. We started talking about, you know, life and Peter and parenthood and we laughed and we got to know each other better than I think we ever have. Well, you know, a few hours, one night, You know, Bridget, I, I'm not going to tell you not to dream. I'm the last person to do that, right? But if you go after your dreams, I want you to be careful and not get hurt. Because it takes a long time to heal. I know. Thank you. I appreciate it. But, you know... But there's no way that Hart could love Peter as much as he does and not love some small part of me, too. Dr. White, Dr. Patty White. You really don't have to do this. I'm well, fine. Let the doctors decide that. Hey, Leo, what are you doing here? Roger. <coughs> Client of mine had a coronary last night. Oh, you look like you're all right. <laughs> Is there a problem? No, no. Yes, there is. Oh, I keep telling her I'll be fine. He re-injured himself. Oh, it's nothing. Roger, saving my life was not nothing. Really. But Leo, can you keep an eye on Roger Hart and I have to make sure he sees a specialist? Of course. Well, we'll only be a minute, Leo. See, my son does care about me. Well, yeah, maybe I guess he does, but Roger, what's the matter? You look like hell. Oh. Everything has been worth it if I get a second chance with my son. You know, I really don't understand you. I really don't. Never mind. Come here. Did you find out where Vanessa went? Well, you didn't get any much to go on. I told you. She took a flight to London. She's either still there or she took a connecting flight. Right, right. I checked on that. There were three connecting flights. One to Paris, Geneva, and Venice. And, uh, well, her name was not on any of the passengers. Of course not. Right. You don't. She was dressed as a nun. Why would she use her real name? Oh. You know, I'm going to do my best to check it. Find it. Do that, Leo. Just do it, okay? Okay, just, it's going to be a few minutes before you can see a doctor. Really? You don't have to stay here with me. It's okay. I don't mind. Paperwork's all filled out. Just be a few minutes. Dinah's too weak to stay here. No, Roger. I'm in better shape than you are. Maybe Leo could take you home. No, no, yeah. Diane isn't going anywhere because the doctor's going to check her out next. Oh, of course. In fact, you know what? I think I'd better call Bridget and see if she and Peter got home okay. Okay. You know, <clears throat> Roger, I really thought you were trying to pull one over on us. And I thought you were lying about being a changed man. I don't blame you for being skeptical. But I don't think that anymore. I could have died tonight, I mean, you could have let me die, but you didn't. I'm glad I could help. Really, I'm really grateful to you, Roger. Thank you. And now I can have the future that I always wanted with heart.
So are you going to go along about this selling company thing or what? Well, I'm not going to give it away, but I'm not going to lie for you either. Yeah, boarding house. Hart, hi. Yeah. We got home fine. Oh, yeah, he's asleep. Oh, you should have seen him. At one point in the car, he turned over and he was like, my daddy's the best. And then he turned over and went back to sleep. <laughs> I swear. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, you can call me later. Okay, talk to you then. Bye. See? Did you hear that? Kurt and I have a chance. Now I just have to figure out how to make the chance and do the sure thing. That's all. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, Father. I just wanted to prepare you for what's to come. Thanks, Amanda, but I'll manage. Will you? Because you've lost everyone, you know. Except for me, of course. Philip and Alan Michael know full well that you're stuck here in Bedpan Alley. They couldn't care less. They wouldn't come to see you on a bet. You have uh, newborns? Yeah, here. newborns. This baby, Afgar's 99, appears healthy. This one is compromised. Afgar 0 and 7. We had uh, no heartbeat and no respiration for over a minute. Sir, do you want to hand the baby to me? I'll take good care of him. Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't helped my son long enough. <laughs> Not yet. My beautiful son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're beautiful. has been Guiding Light. Today's news, reported by television's most experienced team of reporters. How you see America depends on where you look. 